boys and girls. Our story today is a small chapter book about going to an aquarium and what happens at the aquarium. The story is called Pedro and the Shark by Fran Manushkin and illustrated by Tammy Lyon and the publisher is Scholastic. Table of Contents, and we see that there are three chapters in this book. Something Fishy, Alone with the Shark, and Make Like a Turtle. Chapter One, Something Fishy, and there we see all kinds of fish. Pedro told his dad, I'm doing something fishy today. You are? asked his dad. Yes, Pedro smiled. I'm going to the aquarium. His dad laughed. That is fishy. I've saved some money, said Pedro, and I'm bringing back a souvenir. Great, said his dad. I can't wait to see it. At the aquarium, Miss Winkle told the class, be sure to stay together. That's easy, said Pedro. We can pretend we are minnows. They always stick together. There she is telling them all to stick together. It's cool in here, said Katie, and dark. Yes, added Jojo. It's a little spooky. Here comes something crabby, said Pedro. Is it my baby brother, joked Barry? Very funny, said Miss Winkle. It's a hermit crab, and here we see the crab right here. I love the starfish, said Katie. They look dreamy, but the jellyfish looks lonely, said Jojo. Maybe he's looking for a peanut butter fish. And here's, here's the jellyfish. I'd love to take a ride on the seahorse, said Pedro, but I would need to be smaller. Yes, said Katie, and don't forget your snorkel. A snorkel is a tube that you use when you swim underwater. Roddy ran ahead. Yay, he yelled, here come the sharks, duck. Yikes, said Pedro. Those teeth look sharp. I don't want to ride on him. You know, said Pedro, all this water is making me thirsty. And he walked away to find a water fountain. And here's Pedro. And he, they can walk through the, there's a, a pathway through the aquarium. Chapter two, Alone with the Shark. When Pedro finished drinking, he looked for his class. They were gone. Pedro was alone with the shark. See you later, Pedro yelled. I have to find my class. Here they are, he smiled. I see Jojo, but no, it wasn't Jojo. I bet my class is around this corner, said Pedro. The room was dark and filled with whales. Yay, called Pedro. Here's my class, and he thinks it's this class down here. No, it wasn't. Pedro ran this way and that way, but he kept coming back to the shark. Pedro looked at the shark, who was swimming in circles. Ha, Pedro smiled. That's why I can't find my class. I've been going in circles. Thanks for the clue. Chapter three, make like a turtle. Pedro tried a new direction. He passed a sea turtle. She moved slowly, looking calm and wise. I'll try that, said Pedro. And here's the sea turtle. The turtles in our class uh, courtyard at school are not sea turtles. Pedro took a deep breath. He walked slowly. 
I'll turn left this time and then right. Success! Pedro found his class. Here you are, said Miss Winkle. We were going to start searching. I found you first, said Pedro, very proudly. <clears throat> when he got home, Pedro said, Dad, come see my souvenirs. His dad smiled. Why did you choose a shark and a sea turtle? And here he has his souvenirs. It's a long story, said Pedro. Good, said his dad. You can tell me while we walk Pepe. And who is Pepe? Oops, there is Pepe. Pedro's story was, was so long, they walked around the block twice. Sometimes, said Pedro, it's fun to go, to, and go in circles. And it was. And of course, I'm sure that his dog was very happy to get an extra walk. Of course, one good thing about this story, it tells us to always stay with our group whenever we go someplace. Stay with mom and dad, stay with your class. That's important. Okay, boys and girls, that's our story today, and I'll see you in another story.